Adise Baba Fairy Tales and Bedtime Stories for Kids The Ox and the Frog Once upon a time, there was a little ox living in the farm by a lake. This little ox was very unhappy because he was much smaller than all the other oxes in the farm. He always complained about it. And yes, once again, he was complaining to his friend, the dog. I am the smallest ox on the farm. In fact, I am sure that I am the smallest in the world. And there's nothing I can do to change this. Don't start again, my friend. You're actually, in fact, a pretty big, clever and cute ox. It's impossible for us all to be the same size, right? Yes, we don't have to be all the same size. But why am I not the biggest? Look, I am not the biggest dog in the world. I am sure that somewhere there is a bigger dog than me. But I do not worry about this. I am happy with who I am. But I am not. In the lake right next to the farm, where our unhappy ox lived, there lived a very self-centered frog. This frog loved to brag about himself next to his friends. He was bigger than all the other frogs, and he was proud of this. Well, I am the biggest frog in this lake, and whoever is the biggest is the king. From now on, everybody has to call me my king. There is no rule that says the biggest will be the king. And actually, we don't need a king. Why not? Every place has a king. For example, the lion is the king of the jungle. Yes, but the lion is not the biggest animal in the jungle. There is the elephant, for example. Our self-centered frog had to think about his answer. And then answered back, bragging as always. This is not the jungle, and you are not elephants. I am the king, and that is it. The other frogs had talked amongst themselves. They had to teach this frog a lesson. But they didn't know what to do. One day, when the frogs were swimming in the lake, they saw the ox eating away, sadly, on the other side of the lake. Never in their life had they seen an animal this big? Wow, what a big animal! Right at that moment, they thought of an idea. Well, doesn't our self-centered frog say that the biggest animal is the king? Then this must be the king! The frogs immediately went next to the ox. They told him about the situation and asked for help. Yes, but I'm just a little ox. What can I do for you? Little who, you? You won't need to do a thing. We will bring a friend of ours that is very much in love with himself and you leave the rest up to us. Okay, but now I have to get back to the farm or the farmer will worry. The following day, the frogs went over next to the frog that was very much in love with himself. They mentioned that there was a giant animal on the other side of the lake. He wants to see you. Okay then, let's go over and see who this giant animal is. The frogs went over to the other side of the lake. The ox was waiting for them on the edge of the lake. The frog who was very much in love with himself almost swallowed his small tongue. Mm -hmm. But did not make anything obvious to his friends. So, you're the giant that wants to be the king of this lake. The ox wanted to say something, but... Uh, mm. In a hurry, the female frog answered. Weren't you the one that said, whoever is the biggest will be king? Seeing as though the ox is bigger, then it's his right to be king. Oh yeah? I can be as big as him. Right. And how so? When the frogs were talking amongst themselves, the self-centered ox thought of himself to be super big and worthy. Because this was the first time someone was mentioning how big he was. Now you will see how I will grow. And so the frog began to inflate. Am I as big as the ox? Uh, uh. The frog inflated himself a little bit more. What do you think? Am I as big as the ox? 
Uh, uh, uh. The frog began to inflate himself once again. Now he was not able to talk. He could only stare with his eyes waiting for assurance. All the other frogs began to laugh. <laughs> no, you can't do it. No, you're not that big. Inflate a little more. more. <laughs> The frog continued to inflate. He inflated and inflated and turned into a balloon. With his amazed gaze, the ox stared at the frog. <laughs> the very inflated frog had blown up so big he no longer looked like a frog. He pushed so hard that eventually he began to float and started to go up. Eventually, he reached as high as the ox, but he needed to pass the ox. With some more effort, he blew up a bit more and went higher. And... Ox and the frogs just stood there, staring. This was a very tough lesson. They were all really sad about what had happened to the frog who thought of himself to be bigger than anyone else. And so, after seeing all that had happened, never ever did the little ox complain again. He accepted himself as he is and was happy with it. Once upon a time, the animals in a farm were left with no food. The little red hen decided to wander around the field to look for something to eat. She first went next to the cow. Will you come with me around the field to find something to eat? No, I won't. It's too hot. I can't be bothered to walk. She then went next to the pig. <laughs> Will you help me find food? No, I can't come. It's too hot and I can't be bothered to move. Later then, went next to the dog. <laughs> Will you help me find food? No, I can't. It's too hot and I can't walk when it's hot. And in the end, went next to the duck. <laughs> Will you come with me to find something to eat? No, I can't. It's too hot. I can't get out of the water. When nobody bothered to come with her, the hen decided to leave the farm on her own. As she walked, she found some wheat grains on the ground. She was very happy. She returned to the farm. She decided to plant the wheat grains. She thought that her friends would help her. Cow, look, I found wheat grains. Would you like to plant them with me? No, I already told you it's too hot. The hen went over to the pig. Pig, look, I found wheat grains. Would you like to plant them with me? No, I can't. The weather is way too hot for this. She then went next to the dog. Dog, look, I found wheat grains. Would you like to plant them with me? No, it's way too hot. And at last she went next to the duck. Hey, duck, I found some wheat grains. Would you like to plant them with me? No, I can't. I can't leave the water in this heat. Well, I'll plant them myself. When she saw that no one wanted to help her, she decided to plant them herself. Weeks had gone by. The rainy days had begun. The seeds had sprouted, but all the wild grass in the garden needed some cleaning. Who's going to help me clean the grass? It's too muddy now. I can't help you. I'm not up to it. I won't leave my spot. I'll get dirty. Can't do it. Don't feel good today. I can't help. In that case, I'll do it on my own. The little red hen began to clean the wild grass amongst the sprouts. Not long after, the wheat began to grow. It was now time to harvest the ripe wheat. The hen went next to her friends and asked if they would help her harvest the crop. Hey cow, buddy! Wheat has grown! Will you help me harvest the crop? No, I can't. 
Hey, pig! Guess what? The wheat has grown! Will you help me harvest the crop? No, I can't. I won't. Hey, my body dog. The wheat has grown. Will you come and help me harvest the crop? Who, oh, me? Of course not. Hey, ducky ducky. The wheat has grown. Will you help me harvest the crop? Of course I can't. Okay, I'll do it on my own. The little red hen worked till night time. She harvested the wheat kernels, one by one, all by herself. It was now time to turn the wheat to flour. Off she went to ask for help from her friends. Hey guys! We must grind the wheat to make flour. Who would like to help me? I can't help. It's time for me to give milk. I can't move from my spot. <laughs> I can't help either. It's snap time for me. I can't help at all. Can't help. Need to get into the water and cool down. The hen ground the wheat in the mill and turned it into flour. Now let's make some delicious bread. The hen went next to her friends and wanted to give them one last chance. Cow, I'm going to make bread. Would you like to? Help me? Nope, I can't. I'm in no situation to work. What about you, pig? <sighs> Not today. I'm too tired to help today. No, no, I can't. No, I can't. And besides, I don't know how to make bread. This time, the hen was very angry. All by herself, she went to the kitchen. First, she made bread with the flour she had grounded. Then, she gave it a form and at last put it in the oven and waited for it to bake. After the amazing smell of the bread had spread, she took it out of the oven, went out to the garden and sat on the table. Later, called out to her friends. Hey guys, the bread is ready. Who would like to eat it with me? Seeing the amazing bread in front of the hen, in a flash they all went next to her. I want some. Oh, me too. Right when I'm so hungry. Great timing, hen. Hey, me too, hen. I love bread. Come on, let's eat. No, I can't. I can't. I did everything on my own. Only I deserve to eat it, all on my own! With great appetite, the hen began to eat her bread, but couldn't handle the fact that her friends were so hungry. From now on, if you promise to help, I will share my bread with you. All the farmyard animals were ashamed and sorry. They knew she was right. We, we promise you, hen, no more, no more laziness. The hen knew her friends learned a good lesson, so she shared her bread with them. With an amazing appetite, they were now so happy with a full tummy. <laughs>